Okay, WWE, you've had your fun, you've had your shitty storylines, but now let's get a little bit serious here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the General Jerry Channel, and I have some sad news for you WWE fans. Well, it could be happy news, because maybe it might, we might kick up the arse of WWE to actually perform good storylines. WWE's Raw ratings hit another all-time low, a record low in fact. After seeing a slight um, uptick in views for last week's Raw, which is 3.78 million, which still isn't even that good. With Brock Lesnar making his return following his win over Big Show at Madison Square Garden show days before this week episode of Monday Night Raw in Chicago dropped down to an average 3.28 million viewers over the three hours. However, it gets way, way, way more worse. Oh boy. It's a record low. The lowest non-holiday total of any Raw in the in the three R show era. Here is your hourly breakdown. It's really not looking good for WWE. And usually I'm like joking around and smiling and going, ah, you know, whatever. No, it's it's getting a little bit serious now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, your first star got a measly one point five eight. Now, usually the first star doesn't get viewership. Usually it wouldn't go down. But it did. Your second R got 3.25. So from 3.58 to 3.25. Now, usually, when you look at the record books, usually the third R gets a lot of viewership. It didn't. It was 3.08. For the last hour of Raw. Now, a lot of people are wondering why that happened. Because um, usually the first hour might not be. Maybe some people are coming in late. The second hour, you know, people are kind of like constantly watching it. But why in the third hour it dramatically dropped? Um, the reason being is because they booked a lumberjack match. Uh, usually lumberjack matches don't get a lot of viewership. And... WWE was already in deep shit, but for them to do a lumberjack match at a main event when Seth Rollins is already facing Kane at a pay per view goes to show you how dumb this shit is. Um, it's dangerous, dangerously close to an R registering at under three million viewers, which might be a big enough disaster to bring Mr. McMahon's character out of hiding. WWE could point uh, point to strong competition with both the uh, Major League Baseball playoffs, Alan and Jamie, shout out to Jamie and Alan, they cover baseball, and NFL's Monday Night Football, shout out to Burstown, um, on ESPN, but those cannot be excuses. I've said this time and again, you cannot use those things as excuses, because at the end of the day, what is WWE's main demographic? It is children. And I've said this on the pre-show, which now has over 1,000 views. Um, hell, it's a pretty good pre-show, but that's besides the point. What I pointed out in the pre-show is that if children are not watching this, then it's time to revert back to something for us. The reason why the ratings have dropped is because, first of all, children are too busy on their iPads, they're too busy watching their TV. TV for children now has gotten a hell of a lot better than what it has in the last five years. So um, I was even watching Nostalgia Critic and he said that children's TV, in terms of a children's TV output, is that m most of the kids are watching other shows up than WWE. Also, because Raw is your Chuck E. Cheese, because Raw is your complete disaster and it's too cheesy and it's too boring, what's happening is is that the um, the viewership of our demographic are just not watching it. Um, I did not, I watched the first hour of Raw um, and I knew as soon as it was announced that it was Kane and Seth Rollins um, for the Lumberjack match, I wasn't going to watch it. Um, um, so it was a complete disaster. Uh, so, um, I think too, too many people were actually too busy watching wrestling. Jesus, hang out. <laughs> um, there was quite, quite a controversial hangout that happened. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I think too busy, too, bu <laughs> I think people were watching WJ's hangout, not Raw. <laughs> um, 
I, I, let me add some perspective here, and I've said this again on my pre-show, but for those who did not see it, I want to say this. You know WWE's going down the shitter when PewDiePie is getting double the viewership than Raw. Let that sink in for a second. A guy playing computer games is getting more viewership than Raw. If that does not tell you how bad this product is, I don't know what is. It's a complete disaster, and I think this is definitely the lowest point. Whether you support TNA because it's looking bad for TNA and it's looking bad for WWE, no matter whether you are a supporter of TNA or you're a supporter of WWE or Ring of Honor, whatever it may be, it is a sad day for wrestling fans because wrestling fans are not getting what they deserve, and that is a good product. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a sad, sad day. What do you think about these viewers? If you want to check out your numbers themselves, they're in the description below. This is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out.